Michael Jeffrey's life has changed dramatically in the past two years, but some things have stayed the same. A regular and one large cappuccino, please. Still, sitting down to enjoy a cup of coffee with his wife is a simple pleasure he doesn't take for granted. His mental health suffered after leaving the Australian Army in 2008. I was diagnosed through a, um, a psychiatrist that I have uh, PTSD, anxiety and uh, major depressive disorder. I didn't think I'd be happy again. I honestly didn't. Everything changed on a trip back to Timor-Leste, where he was deployed during his military career. Back then, the country was recovering from a brutal Indonesian occupation that saw tens of thousands of Timorese people killed. My first deployment to this country was what affected me the most, that I would come back here to find my happiness and, and to feel inner peace. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. The trip was run by a veteran support group called Timor Awakening. We've been going for over seven years now, uh, taken over 500 veterans on programs. Giving back to communities and making new connections. The Timorese have taught us that reconciling and doing something positive today and tomorrow uh, is, the, is really the way forward. As Australia's Royal Commission into Veteran Suicide prepares to begin its final hearing next month, Timor Awakening is calling for more financial support. We want people healthy, uh, active, engaged, feeling like they belong back in their communities. For Michael Jeffries, the program had a lasting impact. After returning to Australia, he struck up a friendship with a Timorese woman. And I said to Bella, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm, I'm, I flew over on my own. I came straight back and we uh, met at the airport with all the family. My family accept him. My parents uh, accept him that you are not like our son-in-law, but you are like our child. Herself a survivor of the occupation, she admires soldiers like Michael. For us kids, the time you are our hero, like you save us. The pair are now married and Michael has started a new life in Bella's remote village. Now, uh, life is amazing. Life is it's positive. I'm at peace. I have inner peace. Moving forward together. Marion Farr, ABC News.